Hey chickadees, um, long time no see, just kidding, and just saw you guys yesterday. Um, but I don't think I'm gonna do the light today because there's someone watching me. Like, don't you just love that when there's someone watching you? Like, love that, right? Live, laugh, love. Oh, I just fucked my hair up. Shoot. Damn it. Don't you hate that? You fuck your hair up. Because this brush is making it frizzy because it's so, like, dry outside. Like, I cannot wait for it to be, um, freaking summer. Like, I'm so over this cold, like, dry weather. Like, ugh. It's killing my skin. Uh, that's good enough. So, chickadees, I think I'm not going to go to the Trump rally tomorrow because I was talking to someone else about it and, like, they made a very good point. They were like, okay, well, be prepared to go really early, which I already knew we would go early. And then he also was like, um... And you're also going to listen to the same thing pretty much over and over for the, like... Like, over and over. For, like, eight hours. And I'm like... You are so right. Like, you are so right. Like, it's... Like, I don't know why. Like, I had this, like, envisioning that, like... It's probably... Like, I thought it was going to be, like... Almost like a Comic Con. Where, like, you can just, like, walk around and do whatever. And then, like, you know, you go find your seats... And then, like, he comes out at 6 and, like, talks for, like, an hour or two. And then, like, you can leave, right? But I have a feeling that it's going to be, like, maybe, like, one or two hours that you can walk around. But then you go and find your seats. And then I feel like there's going to be, like, other speakers there. There's probably going to be other people speaking. There's probably going to be videos. There's going to be, like, a lot of stuff. And, like, I don't really know if I want to do all that on my Saturday, on my day off. Like, this feels like a school field trip. Like, I don't want to go. Like, this literally feels like it's supposed to be a school field trip. Like, do I get extra credit if I go? Do I need my, um, my permission slip signed? Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't go. I didn't get my permission slip signed. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to tell them tonight that I can't go. Just be, like, nice and, like, give them, like, a heads up. Um, which now means my Saturday is open. <gasps> which I probably won't do anything anyways this Saturday because it's supposed to be raining all day. And that's another thing. It's going to be raining all day tomorrow. So it's like, <sighs> so yeah. Oh my gosh. I'm so mad. I sprayed like a cologne. I don't know why I do this. I do this all the time. I like got a, a sample from my like sample thing instead of just using one that I already have that like is tried and true and this one's Prada and it's like burning my nose it like it doesn't it doesn't smell bad but it just doesn't smell Ugh. and I always spray it like up here I need to start spraying it like down here because I this was in my closet and it smelled like it smelled like outside yeah um, in other news, um, oh, this is kind of like BFF news, Chickity Hunty. BFF has been going live, but only on her private Instagram, the like rated RE one, like the R A T E D. Like, I don't know, the username is really hard to spell out, but I can send it to you if you're not following. And then she's also going live on her second YouTube account, Dose of Ariana 2. So it's the same username as the first one. You just add a two at the end and it should pop up. It has like two and a half subscribe, two and a half thousand subscribers on it. So she is still going live. Gotta give a shout out to BFF. Um, what else is happening? Oh my gosh. So I never really like told you guys like the news, which is like crazy. So you guys know how like a couple weeks ago I got like, what did that say? Oh my gosh, that's funny. Um, someone commented on one of my videos. I can't wait to go see it. Yee! 
I hope they subscribed. So, um, if you're watching this video right now and you're not subscribed, subscribe. Um, but I forgot to tell you guys, so you know how like two weeks ago I kind of like got a download? I don't even think it was two weeks ago. I think it was last week. I got it basically like when my parents were like, oh, get a new phone. I got that download to like start looking for apartments and move out, right? Well, tell me why my mom has been applying for jobs with her company in North Carolina. And they expect me to quit my job and to stop going to school and to move down there with them. The f the f the f the f what? So like that's option A. And then option B is they want me to stay in the house and find roommates to live with me. So then that way they don't have to terminate their lease because it ends in January and she would move in June. So they want me to live here and pay rent and find roommates just so they don't have to terminate the lease. Oh, 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 and here's the best part. So there's one person, like my best friend and his boyfriend, right? I could move out with them, but their lease doesn't end until like the end of August, like early September. So they're like, oh, well, they could move in and you can just pay the rent by yourself for three months. You can just save the money up. Bitch, I'm not spending $6,000 in three months on rent. And are you guys ready for the best part? The company is going to give her $25,000 like just up front. Like that is to go towards like breaking the lease. So why couldn't they just give me $6,000 from the $25,000 for it? But they said, no, we're not doing that. If you want to stay here, then you have to pay the rent by yourself. Like, do you guys see how nasty and disgusting my parents are? It's absolutely ridiculous. And I was like, okay, well, that's great. So basically what you're saying is I'll be homeless in June. And they're like, yeah. Awesome. 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 Awesome sauce. That is so awesome. Yeah, chickadee. So that's kind of like been looming over my head. Obviously, like nothing set in stone. My mom doesn't have the job yet, but I already have like a feeling that she's gonna get the job, just because of how everything's been like coming at me. So that's gonna be very interesting to figure out. Like, where am I going to live for three months? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm like, hopefully my friend lets me move in with them. Like, we can find a different apartment, two-bedroom, and move out. Because they live in a one-bedroom. And, you know, maybe we can find someone to, like, take over their lease. I don't freaking know. I really don't know. Maybe they'll want to move into the house. Who knows? We'll see. But yeah, chickadees, that's like really annoying and like crazy to think about. I'm like, this is, this is my life. <laughs> my family has no, no problem abandoning my ass. They said, okay, well, bye. Well, bye. I don't know it's just really like really weird to me because like I don't understand why like they have to move out because it's not like like I just I, I don't know I'm not gonna get into it that's like too much like I don't know I don't really want to think about that 
I just really hope that work is like peaceful today. Like I'm praying and hoping that work is peaceful today because like I really just don't feel like doing anything at all. Like I really don't. Like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, like mentally and physically drained me. Well, not really physically, but it like mentally drained my energy. Oh my god, also has happy happy first of the month. It's March 1st. Like, can you guys believe that? And it's still freaking cold outside. It's 30 degrees. It's below freezing outside. Like, can you believe that? Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. I'm so sick of this cold weather. I'm absolutely over it. Like, if I was to move, I would move to Florida. Like, I would literally move to Florida. Like, get me out of this freaking cold ass weather. I'm so sick of it. Also, Chickadee Hunty, you're inspiring me to get off Grinder. <laughs> we'll see how long I last. You do better than I do. I'll watch, I'll probably re-download it at work today. <laughs> Please. <sighs> no, but seriously though, like, it's like really addictive for me right now and like I need to like chill out and get off of it, so. And it's not like I've been, like, talking to people on there either. It's just, like, I keep on, like, opening it and just, like, refreshing the grid and just, like, looking at all the guys. Like, it's really creepy. Like, I need to chill and just stop. And then Tinder, like, really pissed me off because, like, tell me why this dude matched with me, right? And he sent me, like, a hey, good morning text. And I texted him. I was like, hey, hey, grand rising. <laughs> because like I was watching like a spiritual TikTok the other day and they were like we shouldn't be saying good morning because morning is a double like it has double meaning so it's like obviously it's like morning time but then there's also morning for like morning over your dead loved ones so you're you kind of are like saying good morning but you're also saying good morning in a sense of like like haha like it's a good thing that someone died. Like, good morning today. Like, we're all mourning the death of the people who die. So you're supposed to say, like, grand rising because it's, like, the sun is rising and, like, you know, it's very, like, positive and it's just, like, more uplifting. Well, I sent that to him and he unmatched me. <laughs> he unmatched me. I was like, what the fuck? Wow. Because I said grand rising, a mother effort unmatched my, I cannot. So that like pissed me off yesterday. I was like, wow, it is eight in the morning and you're doing these shenanigans. That's crazy. That's actually crazy. And then the whole like drama with the S guy, you know, like, you know, he's pulling back and it's just like, whatever like he didn't tell me good night last night he ain't gonna text me good morning today like it's whatever like i'm just over it i'm over it like i said like i'm over it so thankfully um the e's are still being nice i reached out to the one e that i hooked up with like he's so nice like he literally like he'll message back within like a reasonable time frame so I might ask to see and he works out at the gym that I'm thinking about getting a membership to so like I might um I might ask to see like if he'd work out with me one day or like if he wants to hang out or if he just wants to hook up again like I wouldn't mind that either but I have to get tested I have to get tested so I think I'm gonna get tested I took on um, March 13th off which is a Wednesday so I know I said I would get tested next week, but I think I'm just going to wait two weeks to get tested. I could go next Thursday on my lunch break. I might do that too. Maybe I'll do that. I just don't like doing that because like I go, I get there at like 12.15 and it's like afternoon time. And usually that's like when places get busy. I don't know. I'm overthinking it, but I think I'm going to go within these next two weeks. Um, yeah because I need to get tested. It's been one month. It'll be one month, I think March 2nd, since I've like last had like any sort of intercourse with someone. So that's plenty of time that like, if I have something in my body, like to show up on a test. 
and we'll see like how I do and then yeah What else am I have to talk about? I think that's everything. Oh, and then the other E that I hung out with on Monday. He's still chill too, so like, I don't know. Maybe I'll give him a chance. I don't know, we'll see. And then the other E, like I love how there's three E's. The other E, from last week completely like ghosted me which is not shocking I knew he would do that <laughs> but yeah so I am gonna go into the office now I hope you guys have a fabulous day um probably not gonna film this weekend I'm not really gonna do anything crazy but yeah so I'm changing my oil on Sunday, which that was a whole like fiasco because I went to Walmart and I bought this filter, the oil filter. And then I got home. I was like, you know what? Let me double check to make sure that this is right. Bitch, I bought the wrong one. Walmart's website said it was compatible. And then all the other websites said it was not compatible. So then I ended up ordering one off of Amazon that said it was compatible. And then I went on the manufacturer's website and I made sure it was compatible. I was like, okay. So I'm only out like $8. I don't think I'm going to go to Walmart and return it because like that just sounds like a hassle. And like $8 to me is just not even worth that. Maybe on my day off, I can return it. Yeah, maybe I'll do that on the 13th, March the 13th. I'll return it and get my $8 back and get me a little, a little coffee and a donut or whatever. Okay, chickadees, let me peace out. Bye.